as the Peer Guides of 2020 would like to share some encouragement and support as the first day of returning back to school approaches. We know that many might be feeling anxious and nervous about what is yet to come. So we hope that we can be supportive of one another and relieve a little bit of stress, even if it's from a distance. We hope that you enjoy our little video. of no school can be stressful, especially if you have gotten used to sleeping in. Change isn't always easy, but it is necessary for us to move forward. My tip would be, try to set more than one alarm if you are a person who just ignores the first one. Try not to hit the snooze button. anxious during this time but don't let fear get the best of you or overwhelm you maybe just two hand sanitizers will be enough try finding something that can help you to feel calm or be a safe place for you the headspace app is really great if you're interested in meditation mindfulness or relaxation methods try writing motivational phrases for yourself or self-love messages and sticking them up on your mirror after all Upliftment and growth starts from within ourselves. Five hours later. I know how difficult it is to ignore that notification that just popped up on your phone or to avoid watching your favorite TV show that's playing in the background. So I suggest remove all distractions when wanting to study. It's important to set a good working schedule. If that means one hour of study and rewarding yourself with 20 minutes of scrolling through Instagram or watching one episode of your favorite TV show. I can't see anything. My glasses are really misty. I don't know where I'm going. Although we face struggles and challenges, this time is different from our norm, so it's okay to feel frustrated and defeated, but we need to prioritize staying safe and healthy, not just for ourselves, but for the people around us. So we need to start finding creative ways to deal with these frustrations. For example, with the glasses, you can wash them with soap and water to prevent them from fogging up. Hey mom, can you please turn down the radio just a little bit? I'm nearly done. I just have one more question. Just one more question. Can you drive slower, please? Thank, thank you. I really appreciate it. Just, yeah, thank you. Nearly done. Trying to juggle all our schoolwork and subjects has been hard during this time. Sometimes we can get distracted with everything that's happening around us and we end up procrastinating. The temptation to just binge all day on Netflix is real, but it's important to have a schedule and to find the time to do your work without getting distracted. Sometimes having a certain time frame in which to do your work with short breaks in between can be helpful. And then also just try having something to look forward to when you're done working, like watching an episode of your favorite series or reading your favorite book. Yeah, I can't believe school's literally starting tomorrow. Like it's gonna be so weird. Like we won't even be able to borrow each other's pens. Or like what if I need to highlight something and I don't have the right color? I guess I'll just have to unline it. 
literally the only thing we can give each other is air hugs <laughs> yeah that's really weird well okay anyway i have two weeks worth of physics to finish for tomorrow okay yeah chat later see you tomorrow bye it's important to have a support system and friends that are there for us during this time even though we can't hug each other our first day back we can still be there for each other in other ways that still maintain physical distancing time for yourself and focus on your needs. During the time of strict rules and regulations, it is important to focus on your mental health, um, which includes doing something that you enjoy. So, this is just a message from the peer guys to you guys, letting you know that we will try our utmost best to be there to support you, even if we can't physically be there to give you guys a hug. <laughs> Um, but please be safe, share positivity because it's free, and take care.